Ahoy, Vishikni. Ahoy, Hansa. Ahoy. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. I have a question for you. How well do you think you know Czech culture? Moderately well. Moderately well. Okay. Do you know it well enough to explain it to someone who's never been in this country before? I think so, if they don't know enough to correct me. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are going to play a little game called the Chemoji game. And these are Chemojis, these Czech emojis, were designed by a Czech artist named Sonia Yurikova. And they're really cool, and you can download them on your phone, and I'll put the link below to show you how to do that. Um, so are you ready to play? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. So you have to give your best explanation okay. of each of these Czech things for our non-Czech audience. Can okay. you do it? I think I can do it. Okay, we'll okay. try. But first, I want to thank this week's sponsor, italki. Now, I talk about italki a lot in my videos because I use them every single week. So instead of explaining to you what italki is, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Shoop! Shoop! If you're a fan of my channel, you know that one of my main goals in life is learning Czech. And last year, one of the best things I did to help me improve in Czech is to sign up for the italki language challenge. Now you can create your own italki challenge anytime you want. So I'm about to do it and I'm taking you along with me. So first I'm going to look at the coming month and I'm going to think how many lessons can I do in one month? I think I can do about 10 hours of lessons. So I look at my calendar and I set up those days when I can have a lesson. Now, if you're new to italki, you can go to the link below this video. And if you buy $10 of italki credits, you can get $5 for free when you use my link and you use the code DREAM at checkout. Once you get onto italki, go ahead and sign up for free. And then you can browse for the language you want to learn. Now, I personally am learning Czech, so I'm going to search for Czech teachers. I have some favorite teachers and I usually book with them a few times a month, but I also like to try and meet new conversation partners. It helps me um, talk about different subjects and understand different accents. So here I see Anna. I have never had a lesson with her before, but she looks really nice. I can understand her in her video and so I can read more about her. Here you can see she's got lessons for conversation or for beginners. I'm going to go for a conversation lesson and then I can choose the time and how many lessons I want. Then I go to the calendar, see when she's available. Let's start at the beginning of the month. I then choose how we want, are going to meet, either the italki classroom or Skype. I pick Skype because I'm used to it. Then when it takes me to the checkout page, don't forget to put DREAM as a promo code to get $5 off a $10 purchase. And I just tell her what my level is and what I want to do during our lesson. And that's it. If you're interested, after this video, click the link below and don't forget to enter the code DREAM at checkout. When you do, it helps me support this channel so I can keep making these videos for you. So, are you ready for Chimoji? I'm ready for chimojis. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, I'll go first. So you're sending me a chimoji now? Yeah, I'm gonna send you a chimoji. Totoye. <laughs> oh yes. This is the this is the student agency bus. So this is a big yellow bus uh, that uh, gets you cheap tickets throughout uh, Central Europe, and I think even to down to Rome or to Paris. But that's a long bus ride. We took it. We take it all the time. We took it the furthest was to Budapest. Took it to Budapest. That was a long ride. They have little TVs so all the Czechs can watch uh, their own little console of... Oh yeah, I watch Friends in Czech. Yeah. On, on... You're the only one. Everyone, <laughs> everyone else is watching Big Bang Theory. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is chlebičky. Uh, chlebiček. Chleb it is a Czech snack and it's really popular. It's like a little slice of, I want to call it French bread, but it's just bread and it has some sort of like mayonnaise sauce on it and then different kind of vegetables and maybe an egg, tomato, dill, that kind of stuff. And that's what Czechs like to eat for snacks or served at parties. Love you, Czech. That's a long way of saying it's an open face sandwich. It's an open face sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one. Keys are a popular symbol in the Czech Republic of the revolution, the Velvet Revolution, because in 1989, the Czechs gathered in 
Václavské náměstí. Čekoslováks. The Czechoslovaks. I don't know how many Slovaks were there. Well, but they were Czech. Oh. Anyway, go on. <laughs> they gathered in Václavské náměstí and they all shook their keys and the uh, ringing was a symbol of uh, their desire for freedom. And uh, so now the Czech keys are a national symbol. Excellent. Scent. <clears throat> oh, this is Kofala. This is the Czech or well, Slovak version of Coca-Cola. And I believe that they didn't have access to Coca-Cola during communism. And so they made their own soda and Czechs still prefer Kofala to Coca-Cola. And true story, I've never actually tried it. I tried it by accident. You tried it by accident? <laughs> was it good? It was good. I oh. like it. I like it. It's very good. I think we should have Jen try it and do a react video <laughs> on react what, it. <laughs> what she thinks of, okay. of Kofala. Okay. Oh, okay. So I know I'm going to say this wrong. This is a Hata. From what I'm told, Many Czechs have this, they're in their family. They're second homes. Fun fact, uh, what I was told is that during communist times, if you weren't stealing from the communists, you were stealing from yourselves. So uh, a lot of the materials used in the building of the hatas, which were DIY, were actually just materials stolen from the- Just from wood their, panels off the offices? From their workplaces, so what? yeah. I don't, I don't know how to feel about that, proud or? Or ashamed? I don't know. Okay. Okay, scent. Okay. This is Zlaté Prasadko, uh, go the golden pig. So on Christmas Eve, I think, on Christmas Eve, might be Nashtiadri Dan on Christmas Day. If you don't eat meat, you will get lucky and see a golden pig in the sky. I knew she knew that one from the previous video. Watch this video. I'll post it. You can learn more about Christmas traditions. In the I wasn't. Republic. I wasn't trying to stump her like she. Okay. <laughs> like I did to you. Okay. I've seen a lot of these people on the Vltava. Mm. So in the summers, I know the Czechs love to go canoeing, and this is a symbol of one of their popular summer uh, summer sports. Mm, drinking so, on the river. And the only difference is these people are wearing shirts. <laughs> right. Okay. So. Uh -oh. Shortky. Shortky. Shortki. So, true story, one time I found myself accidentally in a protest up the castle. I was just having a walk, minding my own business, and I got swept away in the crowds, and they were hanging giant red boxer shorts from a flag at the castle, and it was to protest Zeman. I think it was the presidential flagpole over the castle. For being, for being vulgarni, when referring to a singing group from Russia. I think oh. was the was the conflict. I don't know how red trainers, or they call them shortki. I don't know how they relate to that, but they definitely were hanging from a flagpole at a protest that I got stuck in and couldn't actually leave. So in a lot of ways, they took over their government building. I, uh, it was a lot less violent. It was just a bunch of like old ladies. <laughs> who, need, signs. who needs an assault rifle when you have a giant pair of red underwear? See, the checks are like. They make a joke out of everything. Way to peacefully overthrow your government. There was no overthrowing happening. <laughs> None. So play it. Oh, this is Svichkova. Basically, um, beef in a gravy with a cream sauce and also some berry. I think it's like a raspberry, but it's no, it's like um it's like a currant. Maybe it's cranberry. It might be cranberry. And then it's got bread dumplings on the side and it's popular. Uh, basically every Czech pub has it. And it's like, it's really Czech. Whereas goulash is not like really Czech. Right. This is like Czech Czech. <laughs> Gahoti. So these are pants, which you have. They're Rejoice pants, that's the brand, but I think they're modeled after Czech workman pants because I was in like, what's the Home Depot called? Hornbach? Hornbach. I was in Hornbach and I saw like shelves of these type of pants and yeah. I think they're like construction, Del, Del Niki, construction people pants. And Czechs wear them all the time. It's like snowboarding pants and they're just like wearing them around Prague. What are they made of? Cotton? What are they made of? Hemp? 
They're made of hemp? <laughs> you sneaky jacks. <laughs> I think this is a Trabant or an old, uh, what is it? Bech, uh, Bechko, what's the old Skoda? So it's a, you think it's Skoda? Cause it, the, the Trabant is like an Eastern Germany car, right? Yeah. Is this the car that, that Papa and V Pravia has? I think he gets this. He, in one episode. He, he gets like, this and yeah. his boss is like jealous of him because. Oh, that's never good. And your communist boss is jealous of you. Yeah, he doesn't know how he got this, this car. I think it is a Skoda. Um, I wish I could remember the name of it though. Mm. It has a special name. We'll look it up. Okay. Write it in the comments if you know. Set. <laughs> this is Rizak shaped as Czechia. <laughs> Rizak is schnitzel, essentially. And it's very popular in this country. What and is it's it? It's got a little wedge of lemon. Uh, it's like fried, and I guess you could do chicken schnitzel, but I think it's pork. Pork schnitzel. Yeah. Gizek. Say it with me. Gizek. 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 That's cute. She did it like a like a shape like a Czech Republic. We'll check ya. So this is obviously Yarmir Yager because he's wearing number sixty-eight. And is that his national number? Or is that his number as well when he plays in? That's always. The NHL. That's just. That's his, just his number all he the just, time. He just gets the number he wants. He gets. He's. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, he's had the number for forty years now. So, I think. How old is he? He's. He's like forty-five. This is okay. And okay. Uh, I don't even think he was retired at, at the time of this filming. I think he probably is still playing for Kladno. Um, awesome. But this is a young, young Yarmir Yager because he has no, no uh, mustache or beard, and his, uh, his mullet, mullet is, is still black. Strong. <laughs> still black. It's not gray yet. Not what this is, but why this is. Why is this? Okay. Okay. So this is a guy in the Tatri. I'm guessing. You think? I think it's a. Ch oh, I know what this is. So this is a dude who went to Coughlin to buy some snacks for the road. That's why he's got a Coughlin bag. He's in the Tatry Mountains because no mountains are that high in the Czech Republic. So That's he's down true. in Slovakia. And how is he dressed? <laughs> Completely inappropriately. This is what Czechs do. I've heard it from the Slovaks. So the Czechs have a reputation for going to the high Tatra mountains and getting into physical danger because they're not like prepared. Notice the socks and sandals, great for hiking. I don't know, that's my interpretation. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. And I'm sure he has all sorts of chocolate bars and Rolik in there. Oh yeah, Rolik and chocolate bars to get him through. Well, he'll be stranded for about four days, so I hope that gets him through. <laughs> okay, another easy one. This is the Easter Whip. Oh, I'm sorry, did you say whip? Yes, Lash Lashka? Oh my gosh, I forgot. Lashka, I think. Okay. Po pom Pomlaska. 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 And this is the, as you saw in the Easter video, this or is. Or if you didn't, it's up here. What keeps the ladies fertile. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Around Easter time. And how does it do that? This stick keeps ladies fertile. Explain a little bit more for, for the non Czech audience. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Son. Jen, try not to say anything that would mess up your citizenship. <laughs> this is a Czech politician who fell asleep during a meeting that was televised, perhaps. I'm going to say it's, it kind of looks like Schwarzenberg. I think it is. Yeah. I'm I, sure. Someone did fall asleep. I can't remember who it is. These guys work really hard, you know? Sometimes they need to sleep. So I, I'm pretty sure it's Schwarzenberg, who is the leader of the... He's the chairman of Top 09 or something. Oh, good detail. Maybe. Yeah. He used to be. I don't know if he still he is. He ran for president. And is he a native Czech speaker? It, does he speak German? Yeah. he's a. No way. He's a native German speaker. He comes from a really, really wealthy family. I believe that... Is his the crest in Kudnahora, in the, in the ossuary? ossuary? I think it is. And I think also his family has something to do with the the castle at um, Chesky Krumlov. And and I believe that, well, and then Schwarzenberg Palace at the at the um, pra Praškehrad, Czech castle. And One also, of my favorite buildings. It's possible we're wrong about this all of could this. Be, this could be <laughs> someone else. <laughs> nice drawing though. 
This is some dessert that, need I say more, it's like a cream puff inside of like chocolate, chocolate like hardened, and it just shoots up in the, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I've never tried it, it looks too indulgent. I've never seen it in real life. You've never seen it? I thought this was a joke. He doesn't go in Sucranas, he doesn't, he doesn't hang out. I just, I'm always like window shopping in Sucranas. <laughs> okay. Oh. This is, I think it's Okamura, and he is the head of the SDP party. And um, what is he known for? What is his spiel? His spiel is for being not so keen on immigrants. He's not an immigrant, but his his one of his parents was Japanese. So I guess based on his last name being Japanese, his father must have been Japanese. Ironitsuke. Yeah. So. Yeah. I guess his, he's a first generation Czech, yeah. but like we say in America, close the door behind you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Mmm. Also hobe, mushrooms in a basket, in a koshik. Um, the Czechs love to mushroom hunt. I got a video about that too. And they're very, very good at it. These are not magic mushrooms, these are just edible mushrooms. And they're very skilled at knowing which are poisonous and which are edible. And pretty much every check goes hunting for them. Um, and then we've got these, which are, I believe they're called muho morki. They're, they're poisonous. Psilocybin mushrooms. Sepuntiki. They're magic mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. These, these you don't eat. <laughs> these, no, these are bad. Oh. I think this is a langosh, which is just a gross pizza. <laughs> it's just it's not pizza. But it's like just it's bread with some cheese and I think ketchup. It's not cheese. It's almost like it's non-melting cheese. It's and then I think it's just ketchup. So yeah. oh. so and I, I don't think it's Czech. We oh. they eat them. No. At like street markets. I think it's from Budapest. I think it is too. I think yeah. it's I think it's Hungarian, but they have it, and I'm not gonna try it anytime soon. I mean, I've ha you got to try it once because you think you're getting pizza, and you're not. I'm not gonna try it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are interested in checking out these awesome chemojis, I will leave the link below. Um, and kudos to the artist who created these, and also thank you. Sure. Thank, thank you, you for watching. Thanks. And thank you to italki who helps support this channel so we can sit here and learn more about Czech culture and teach it to you. Italki. Italki. <laughs> okay. Ciao. Ciao. Uvidimi se prišti ti den. Ciao.